Here we go. The Miller Lite Cape Cod Open. We are set for final action. And fans are into it. Yes. Are they the best fans on the tour? Why not? They're in the mix. <laughs> they are in the mix for sure. And we get set for final action. Garch Karai, Kent Steffes, and Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos. Game to 15. Here we go. Smith and Stoklos on the right side of your screen. Karai and Steffes. That's Steffes. Combined. Difference between these two teams. Karai and Steffes win the winner's bracket. They've been resting for the last two and a half, three hours. Smith Stoklos had to play an additional match. Kent Steffes has been playing so well overcome the inconsistencies uh, that plagued him earlier in his career. Why not? He was only 19 years old, and now he's uh, number one on the tour. Did he know how well he played this year when he got that headshot taken is what I want to know. <laughs> he's got a pretty big grin, doesn't he? Steffes with the ace. He should. one nothing. Well, what was one of my keys? Aces will win it. And here, right off the bat, point number one from Kent Steffes. Trailing one to nothing. Here goes Stoklo. Send Steffes with a dig. Chance to move to two to nothing. Look out. See ya. by Kent Steffes. Point. Steffes and Karai. Two serving zero. Two serves, two points. And this is what's so great about this team right now. They can both play defense. They can both get off the net and set the ball. And they can both convert. It's not like the little guy hitting on his offside. These real bookend athletes. Much bigger, much stronger than he used to be. Stokos on the attack, and he gets it. So Randy Stokos gets his first side out. We should tell you that today, Killer Sunglasses by Bausch & Lomb will be presenting the Killer Kill Award. Bausch & Lomb will present $500 to the player with the most kills in the final match. And it could be Randy Stokos. He's won it once this year. Cards blocks. Kent gently on the line. Spike down the line by Rand, by, uh, excuse me, Kent Steffes, good for a side out. The Steffes wind again, really not a factor serve. down on center court. You see the court surrounded by spectators. A lot of them come to see that man, Karch Kirai, two Olympic gold medals, world champion, world cup, and uh, five victories in a row out on the Pro Beach Tour. And crummy server on that one. Whips it out of bounds. As Sinjin Smith will put the ball in play. Our referees today, Bobby Clark and George Carey. Bobby Clark is up. And off Stoklos. Can he put it away? Spell. Yes, he does. Down the line by Randy Stoklos. Got to convert when you have opportunities. Excellent block by Randy Stoklos. The ball spinning up in the air, but Smith. Very accurate set to his partner, Randy Stoklos, in conversion. Won his first tournament back in 1977 with Mike Norman at Rain Avenue. Karch, another day. Could be another point. Yeah. How about Steffes on the left? No. There's Stokey in the middle. And when you're playing well, when you're on a five tournament win streak, those kind of plays help you out. Just happen. And not only does it happen, the residue of luck certainly, but uh, is designed, but it really frustrates a team that's trying to get back into the mix against Kirai and Steffes. And Smith and Stokos played very well in San Diego a couple of weeks ago, played again well at the Cuervo in Boulder, and had a down week last week. And Steffes, 23 years old. Why are Kirai and Steph is doing so well? That first line tells you they've won nine of ten matches this year against Smith and Stokos. Just a remarkable record. And Steph is and so Karch Karai will go back to serve. Keeping it on Kent Steffes, making him think, sometimes blocking against him, other times faking. Stokos just pulling off a little early that time. Interestingly, Karch and Kent, both born in Michigan. A lot of people don't know that. Karch in Jackson, Michigan. And Ann Arbor. Angle, angle. Right to Karch. Gobbles it up. 2-1, he's leading. Tight set. That's good. Nowhere to go on that play as Smith was guarding the angle. 
Pitched out of the block of Randy Stoklos. Sinjin Smith with the late call. Stoklos with the loopy right to Karch, and that's the result. And there, a little bit of the frustration. Uh, working hard to communicate in years past, Smith and Stoklos never used hand signals like all the other teams to communicate their blocking and defensive positioning. They've incorporated that into their game. Very, very hungry to win this tournament. Mike, Mike. Stokos, Mike. nice shot, chopping it down the line. Stokos right, turns down the line, good for a so side Smith out to the team Stokos up. Stokos making some Smith. changes in their attack. Stokos getting most of the serve, so Smith gets an opportunity to settle on. And he'll put the ball in play. First open tournament, he played with Ron Von Hagen for the fifth at Santa Cruz. And Arch off one leg. Well, you see the Chinese women do that. Well, this is, book, this is bookend athletes. Stephas a little bit taller. Kirai about 6'3", jumps extremely well. Not a great pass here and not a very good set either. But when you have excellent athletic abilities, all four of these players do, they can make those sorts of adjustments. Keep in mind, hand signals, one, that means he's blocking line. Two, that means he's blocking angle. Fist means he's trying to block the ball or take the middle of the court. Kent has it. Looking That's for a four. Get out. Get out. Oh! Got it. So Steffes, cut shot, cut shot on Smith and Stoklos. And so early, Kenton Karch, KK, working hard, 4-1. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, off the coast in New England, specifically Cape Cod, the town of Barnstable. Where is Barnstable? You got to come up here. It's beautiful. All kinds of things to do, and one of the things to do this weekend, Father's Day weekend, watch Hello, Pro gentlemen. Beach Volleyball. Four to one is our score. Karch Garay and Kent Steffes are leading. The officials once again, George Carey there, and Bobby Clark is up. There's Bobby Clark, up incidentally, honored by being the only the American boy. referee no, sent to Barcelona this summer. He'll be working the Olympic Games in volleyball, so our congratulations to Bobby Clark. Certainly one of the best referees in the United States indoors. Good. and. One of the best on the beach. I think he and Jim Lennon considered the best, too. Come on, come on, Ken. Nice shot over the top by Sinjin Smith. down the line by Sinjin Smith. Off the block and down. Side out. So the side out Smith is and taken, Stoklos. and Stoklos will have the ball. See Smith's record in the finals last year as compared to this year. This match starting out a little bit like the Titanic these two teams had in San Diego. Karai and Steffes went out big early. But then Smith and Stokos came roaring back, got lots of confidence, eventually lost in a tremendous match. That ball is ruled in. Smith and Stokos Spike going to argue. Finds the sideline. There you go, gentlemen. Checking the ball mark like on clay court tennis. Let's go. Right in front of Bobby Clark as well as the linesman. And Smith is saying it's in there. It's out of there. I think just trying to slow things down a little bit. I think Sinjin Smith, uh, some real experience in gamesmanship, knowing that Karai and Steffes uh, on a roll want to try to break up their rhythm. And Smith, a little mad, pounds one and hits in and bounces into the crowd, so he gets the side out. Are Smith and Stokos getting yeah, along Sinjin right now in the midst Smith, of this losing streak? Well, you know, you I, I, I talked to Sinjin yesterday, and he said, look, how would you get along? You know, we've been winning so much. How yeah. would you be getting along? I, I don't think they're getting along badly. I just think there's a lot of pressure out on the court because they have such high expectations of one another. Cards oh, <laughs> nice kick by Smith. Stokos right over the net to Steffes, who puts it away. Steffes Great dig by point. Smith, but tough ball to set. Come out of the pocket, right. spinning like a top. Very difficult to control. Smith still playing excellent defense, and this is a rocket right to him. Side out duel continues and Stokey here just chanking that ball another two feet back Eight off the net. That's a point-scoring opportunity for Smith and Stokos. Four, Smith, Stokos one. Smith, the former Defensive Player of the Year. I don't think he's going to get that honor this year, would be my guess. Fight, fight. It's going to be a tough Big choice. Yeah, I was just going to say, who are you going to pick? I mean, coming into the season, you might think Adam Johnson, but uh, he and Ludies have not played particularly well, and... Yeah, when you, you know, don't get to the finals in the final yeah, four, exactly. people tend to forget you. If you just joined us, Ludies and Johnson finishing ninth. Yeah. That's it. By so Stokos pins one up for Smith Stokos. Stokey now with a spader on the board. Point. The jump serve Smith. has turned Two the game around four. so much. Down 4-1 with no momentum. You get the ace, and all of a sudden, you're right back in it and looking for more. Oh, well, Steffes looking hard bang for the right this side. This year, much bigger, much stronger, but also jumping much higher, it looks like. Well, he's becoming a, a more mature man. I mean, when we saw him come out on the tour and win his first event a couple of years ago, 
You know, he just was not uh, physically as strong or mature as he is now, and, and thus the great record you saw. So this stuff was 4-2 is our score. Line, line. Uh, Karch gobbles that up. Smith will set Stokos. No block. Oh, and it's back over the net. Watch Stokey going on two. Smith the Oh, that was a double contact. Nobody called it. Karch to Stokey. Going to be some arguing line, after this line. one. Wait till you see it. And the ball put away. And Karch going after Bobby Clark. In the midst of that very long rally, Randy Stokel usually sets the ball with no spin at all, and one came out of there spinning just a little bit, but Bobby Clark let it go. You know, we had a couple of guys from the Boston yeah, area no asking us about spin, about the go. double contact. Uh, a guy named Magoo and old Tim. It is not the spin of the ball. There is no such thing as a one and a quarter rotation. Yeah, I couldn't believe some of the rules they were coming up with. All that matters on a thrown ball is does it stick in your hands too long? That means it's a carry or lift. Or does it transfer right to left double contact? That's it. If it spins 100 times and it comes out clean, that's okay. But if you're a young volleyball player and you're playing on the beach or on the grass here in the Our Boston area, by the ball should be called a little side, looser. They do it on the yeah. MVP. You I think can't call amateur right. tournaments tougher than you call it exactly and i think one of the biggest mistakes that people are making around the country as you get a look at the huge crowd in cape cod this is the miller light cape cod open yeah. oh that ball's in Jeez, every break going the way of kirai and stephas right now paul you really called it you really thought it started at the cuervo tournament when karch and kent were down didn't it well round robin pool play at the Cuervo tournaments, and they had cinched first place. They were guaranteed of a spot in the finals, and Kirai and Steffes made a pact to bomb every serve, no matter what happened. Just didn't matter the results, and since then, they have really gotten on a roll. That's a great shot by Smith. Do you think that, that day they got their confidence? Uh, they've looked much more aggressive since that tournament. Well, they went on to win that match very easily, and of course, win the finals easily against Smith and Stoklos. This is an unbelievable play for a very difficult side out. Smith down off the tough jump serve from Steffes and then the great shot. We've talked about the problem Sinjin Smith has had with that leg, come on, come on. tendon musculature Go, above oh, the oh, knee, oh, oh, causing him a lot of pain. You see how he landed so gingerly there? He jumped to play the ball and then came down only on his left, his healthy leg. He says it hurts every time I jump. He had a MRI, mag mag magnetic resonance uh, imaging test and uh, We'll see what the results of that is uh, later on uh, in the season. Karch will serve 5-2. Cross court spike by Randy Stoklos. Uh, Smith and Stoklos trailing 5-2. They need to get it together. Need to score some points. Stoklos in his last 11. Smith and Stokos playing together since 1981. Good, good. And Smith gets the ace. Ace jump serve by Sins and Smith. I hate to give you the nation, but they want Smith and Stokos to win. Don't well, sure they do. This is the team that has meant Pro Beach Volleyball to the fans around the country for over a decade. And I hate to give you any guff, but uh, my stuff is looking pretty good here. Ace is clearly the big story of this match for early. The stuff always looks good. Ball. Just doesn't smell very well. <laughs> sometimes I'm groping because, you know, the game gets pretty Four simple. Eight. You side Three. out, you block, Three. you score, you go to the airport. Ten but uh, the I really think uh, at this level of play, the team that steps up really takes the chances, feels confident, serves tough throughout the match from point one through fifteen, probably has an advantage. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go. Five, three, Brian Steffes. Yep. Stokey pops that spalding oh, into the sand and into the crowd. Did you hear the two calls? Sinjin Smith goes line, line, and he's talking about where Karch Kirai is playing defensively, the opening being down the line for the loopy, but Stokey said, to heck with that, I'm just going to bomb straight down. Stokelo serving it up, 5-3. Come on. Karch grabbed it, though. You got nobody. Karchi, Stokey. Looking for a point. Big one here. Tight. Very tight. And Stoklos just could not do anything with it. Going to take a timeout. We'll be back. Karai Steffes by two. 
We are back in beautiful Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, final action. 5-3, Cry Steffes. Flipping Stokos had a chance there. They just missed an attempt at point number four. The wind coming directly across the court on the shore. Flags are flopping, so that really doesn't give much of an advantage to either team. We saw this in the semifinals twice. Smith Stoklos against Hovland and Dodd. Randy Stoklos going on to there. You see the flags blowing, and it looks like a very windy day for Pro Beach Volleyball, but no longer with the stadium configuration. Down on the court, the wind not that big a factor. Smith, spectacular dig, and then Stokey. Oh, he's got it one hand to go to four. Yes! Great play by Randy Stoklos. Karch trying to just hammer this ball straight down, but Randy not backing off. Karch is going to say, okay, Randy, you're going to set me, I'll hammer it. But Stokey with the good dig. And then Sinjin Smith with a set eight, nine feet off the net. And a lot of people say, hey, can Randy Stoklos play the right side? You bet. Look at the cut shot. So pressure now on Karch Karad. Smith and Stoklos serving it. Four serving five. None is out. Oh, and Smith just misses what would have been another ace. Yeah, these conditions are perfect compared to yesterday. It was pouring with rain yesterday morning. Play was delayed until midday. On the stadium court, it was all right, but on the outer courts, very windy conditions. Second, nice day today. Second match in this tournament for these two teams. Uh, it's tight. Come on, Ted. Nobody, nobody. Cut! Boy, talking about cutting it fine. He did, Karch Karai just put that one up into the wind and let nature do its work. Get out the Ginsu. God, and we've got a good one going. 6-4 is our score championship final. Six minutes and 32 seconds left to play in this game. Karch and Kent with a two-point lead. So Smith and Stoker is trying to break the winning streak. And Karch Karai and Kent Steffen, they need to hold here. They're down by two, but perhaps back on the good side. You think that's a good side, Paul? Marginally, marginally. The flags are blowing hard aloft. Greg, again, we talked about it down the court. Not much breeze. Great cover. Stoker. Not yet. Karch can't get there. Craig Fans love a long rally. Yeah, they great hustle by both teams. But you know, the cover play by Randy Stoke is the kind of There's extra Stokos effort play that, time, that Smith and Stokos haven't been making the out. last couple of weeks. They've been frustrated. When you're Randy completely Stokos focused on the game, you make those quick reaction plays. And that's a very good sign for Smith and Stokos. Four serving six. Arch and hopping over the top. Speed spike Smith and Stokos, it appears, have settled on the serving the Golden Boy blocker, and have in not the, had much success so far. In the finals of the winner's bracket, Ken Steffes was called for a throw, yeah. something that we were talking about earlier on. From that point on, he bump set every ball. Maybe they're waiting and hoping for a call from Bobby Clark. Stokos. Oh, does he rip spike one? Sizzling the pits of Steffes. court. Bangs down the line. No. I'll tell you, that sign said it all. Coming right into your living room. Steph is jumping cross court and going straight down the line. Smith to serve. Good. Over him. for point. Not yet. Carts with the dive. He's up. Nobody. His knee. And he puts it away. And back by Carts for nine. I think this match has got a little riding on it. Tremendous athletic play that time by the horse, Karch Kirai, chasing the ball down, but then recovering quickly to get back to the net and attack. You know, you talked about it, Paul. Is to serve. Stokoe was just not able to make the key play against Kirai and Stephens. Used to be the other way around. When it was close, Kent and Karch would not play well, but Smith and Stokoe's not winning one of those nice long rallies. 
And for contact, Despite going to be called Sinchin, another Smith point for point Steffes Karai. Of Karai and Steffes score now seven serving Karai four. and Steffes, the key is that they become very steady in their side-out game. That's, why I think, why they're serving Karch Karai. They want to step, get Steffes to question himself in terms of setting the ball with his hands. He's not that accurate underhand, or he's not as accurate as he is setting the ball overhand. That's tight. And Smith, little tip. Net violation so on the Karai block attempt by Karai. Grabs net Karai. unintentionally. Side Bobby Clark making the call. Smith. Don't think there are too many intentional nets. Stokey Bobby serving. Clark going to be in Barcelona. Four and incidentally, seven. I just got back from San Diego where I saw the USA women's team work out for a chance to chat with Terry Miscavige. And five. Karen Kemner looks great. phenomenal. She was voted the best player in the world last year. I had a chance to watch them scrimmage. And the Odin sisters are in the middle. Endicott setting. Paula Weissoff, T. Williams, or T. Sanders now. And Karen Kemner. They look very, very good. They're going to challenge for a medal. For this last tournament or series of tournaments in China, Karen Kemner was voted the most valuable player at those two tournaments. Nice dig, Stokey. Nice dig, Karch, but off to the right point. Randy Stokey has been playing some great defense. And Stokey on the offside. Puts them all the way across court. Sinjin Smith blocking here. Not really sure why. That's a changing configuration we don't see much of. Stokos playing good defense and then finishing off Karai. Five serving seven. That's tight set. Sinjin blocking again. He got it. Stokos. Ball still in play. Seven five. Should be a chance for Karai. Oh, look at that. Spike down the oh, he's hitting that ball from way off the net. Coming over his head with no approach and still able to put the ball away. That was a big chance for Smith and Stokos. They're only down by two couple of breaks and they uh, would be even if not tied. So Karch Karai waiting. He is not going back to play in Barcelona, but the USA men's team had a chance to see Steve Timmons and Doug Partee down there and Jeff Storr. They look terrific. Good, good. They could win the gold medal without him. Smith. Oh, does he jam Steffes? Steffes with oh, the oh, jam. Just up a little bit early. Steffes. Nobody's better at the trouble shots than Sinjin Smith. This ball set too tight. And you'll see Kent Steffes probably Sinjin up and over a little early coming back down, and Sinjin just continues to push. Our second confrontation so far today. Great play by Smith, and he'll serve. 7-5 Karai. Let's listen. Oh! Line, 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 line. And sneaking it down the line was Karch. So Kent Steffes, who has the ball, he's got one brother who's 26 years old named Byron. He's a kickboxing instructor. And the signal is, let's kick one down here. Nope, oh, Steffes can't go for it. Kent Steffes' first service error. Kirai also with only one. Smith with one. Stoklos with none. Aces, on the other hand, four all told. Two by each team. That's excellent serving. Stoklos. Trailing by two. Nice dig. Can they convert, however? Steffes. Got it. All right. We're going to take a timeout when we come back. A two-point lead for Kenton Karch. We are back at the Miller Lite Cape Cod Open. Seven to five is our score. At Craigville Beach, I'm Chris Marlowe along with Paul Sunderland. Paul, you always talk about conversions, transition conversions. Smith Stoke was unable to convert some of the points that they've been getting. They've been well, making nice digs. They've had several opportunities, but just have not been able to get that last step. Come on! Great serve. Going to be another point. So the tough serve by Karai, they're serving Stokos out to the line. They got an ace there, and they're making him lunge outside. Third ace for the team of uh, Steffes and Kirai. Service story. And Look so at the errors. I mean, that's unbelievable serving by both teams. Three aces over only two errors for Kirai and Steffes. Smith and Stokos, excellent serving as well. You know, when Karch... Uh, was jump serving last couple years on the beach he just hit the lollipop but you look at him now when he goes up he is grunting and groaning and whacking that thing as hard as he can let's see if he goes for the uh, lollipop after the time and that started in boulder as we discussed mm -hmm. and i talked to him about it he said well i just would like to lob the ball over but now you know we're just going for it that's the key to the game okay there's a lollipop that's after a timeout because he wants to get it in smith oh, what a play by Stephen. chance 
tape shot. Little tip rejected. This is going to be a big one here. Smith. Step is oh. Spike down the line by Sinjin Smith. Side out to Smith and Stoklos. A great rally once again here on Center That was a court. terrific rally. Well, talk about not converting on opportunities. Kent Steffes trying to go straight down, Sinjin catches the serve. top of the tape, and Sinjin Smith going at the retreating blocker, Kent Steffes, to bail his team out. Well, Steffes would love to have that swing back. Phenomenal play by Steffes to get off the net after blocking. Yeah, if someone banks it over, you can't swat it down, come down and reach back and go get it. 8-5. I'm talking about the average bear making that play. Man, can't quite. The full-on dive, the outstretched right hand. And Karchin Kent will get the ball. Plenty of time left. Four minutes, yes. 37 seconds. 8-5, Karai and Steffa is holding a three-point lead. And Karch will position at the net. The count of a net as if his hat hits the net, Paul? Yes, any part of your clothes, body, paraphernalia, yeah. you name it. Anything, any part of you or whatever you're wearing contacts the net, it's a violation. I'm told on the women's pro tour, if your hair hits the net, it's not a net. Like if you have a ponytail and it swings into the net, that's not what a net. What if you've got a buzz cut? If your hair hits the net in women's uh, volleyball, it doesn't count. Angle, angle, angle. All right. With the dig, looking for nine. And drilling it down the line. The and Steffes looks phenomenal. In the by you give to Ryan Steffes well. just too many Point chances to, to convert, Steffes and they're going to just nine, gradually, 35. gradually pull away. After St. John Smith set that ball, he called angle. But, it, you know, Stokos just not clicking in there. Kent Steffes waiting for that shot down the line. Oh, Stokos back the whole game. Steffes pounds that one out of bounds. Not afraid to take chances now. No. They have a big lead. Championship final action. What? And Karch comes one through. Let's update Spike you on the Kill, the kill Award at the moment. Kirai now with 13 kills, Steffes with 10. Sinjin Smith Archie only serve, five. He's out. not getting too much. Well, he's received a number of serves. Randy Stokos with 13 as well. So we have a tie yeah. between uh, Kirai and Stokos. Excuse me, Steffes and Stokos. Bounce along. $500 yeah. goes another ace. So it's a city. They might have well held this tournament in Las Vegas. Taking a timeout, four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the game. Brian Steffes, 5-5. Five five. Karch still whacking the jump serve, so maybe he's okay. Maybe he's just a stumble. Maybe, maybe. Well, if he had felt a cramp, I think he would have right stayed down, not jump serve, given him a time, given himself some time to walk it off, run it off before he was going to go back and aggressively jump serve. I think he just stepped in a hole over there. Karch went through it once this year. Cost he and Kent Steffes the New Orleans Open. And Smith trying to get the perspiration off the ball. It may be windy, may be a little foggy, but it's about 85 degrees down on the court. And Karch goes downtown again. If Karch fell, or he was hurting, did Smith and Stokos notice, do you think? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I think so on that particular play. They served him again. Yeah. Uh, very obvious that uh, an awkward play by Karch Kirai set well off the net. Stokos was not up blocking. I think they both saw it. I'm going to go right back to him. What was the tournament where where they serve Steffes the whole game. As Miriam words, they serve Steffes, Steffes, Steffes. And when you interview him, Karch said, if they had served me once, I would have thrown up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what turn? Do you remember the tournament? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I Oh, that was uh, in uh, Fort Worth. Come on, great shot. Shoot shot. That is great, Fort Worth. So if That's you when they see the baby food, the best chance the Smith and Stokos have now is to keep to the game plan. Keep it on Karai if he's hurting. And you know the way to discover that, Paul, is serve Karai short. short. Serve him short exactly what St. John Smith told me he was doing against Tim Hovland in the semifinals. He said, I thought Hov was tired, so I served him short. Karch dinking. Off speed spike by Karaj. Over the outstretched arms of blocker Randy Stoklos. 
Just Why outside would the reach uh, of a diving cinch and Well, he's getting all the serves, 22 to 9. To Smith and Stoko is a good uh, distribution for them. More to Smith in this match. Mm -hmm. That's uh, an unusual pattern uh, based on the, uh, the matches that these teams have played so far this year. Sinjin taking his time. You're allowed to go to the towel whenever you want now. It's up to the referee's discretion when to blow you out. And time back in. 6-10. Or 10-6 if you like. Ryan Steffes by four. Karch right there. Opportunities to convert and then taking it right to the bank. That's been the difference in this match. We're not charting it right now, but I would guess that Kirai and Steffes probably have three or four more opportunities, but they've virtually converted them all. Smith and Stoklos have had their chances. Audio very good today, and we heard Stoklos say line. He said line, line, but Smith chose the cut, and so did Kirai. Angle. Bang down no problem with that one, side out. Side out to Stoklos and Smith. Sinjin and Randy trail by five. Let's see what Smith does here. Very smart player. Six, knows three, when to adjust. One twelve with the same part. And would love dearly to get number 113 with Sinjin. I thought he was coming with a sky ball. They needed a change of pace. That's out of bounds. So Smith tries to set up the sky ball. Good choice, I think. I think he should stay with that. Their jump serving has not been that effective since early in the match. I'd like to see him serve cart short and see if see if he is tired. Stoklos in trouble now. And the ball bumped. Stoklos is such a good hand setter. He's very rarely. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't do well what you don't do often. And Randy Stoklos is so athletic and so good with his hands that he rarely has to bump set a ball, primarily because his partner is maybe the best passer ever. So he's not a, that good a bump setter, especially, uh, you know, under a very pressure-packed situation. That was a big play. Yeah, that was a bad pass, though, by Yes, yes, it was. That's what forced Randy to use uh, the bump setting technique. Smith turns it down the line. So Smith and Stoklos trailing 12-6. They need two here, and they need to get over to the good side with the wind flapping now. It's got to be Karches and Kent's side. Tough serve. Nobody. Step in. Nice dig. Can the Kings convert? On, get a on. crown on this baby. Go. No, Stephens is there. They'll get another chance. Sinjin. Yeah. Playing to the crowd, working hard, and earning it. Two chances to convert here, and Sinjin on the left side, slicing away from his body. You see how much effect the wind had on that very high dig by Randy Stoklos. You get up 35 feet above the stands, and the wind is a big factor. But at ground zero, no big deal. Beautiful play by Smith and Stoklos. Yeah, it's hot out here now. Very muggy yesterday with the rain. And a, a shot of uh, our ballpark today. And it is packed. Great fans. Hope you're enjoying this wherever you are, especially I'm on NESN, New England Sports Network, our host. And we're going to take a timeout. Can Smith and Stoklos come back? They're edging. They're edging. Can they do it? Stay with us. Look at the Dream Dream, how they've been doing very, very nicely. Thank you. Five in a row, 12 in the last 15, 47 and four, and a 12 and three record in the finals over the last couple of years. So Kent, Kar uh, Kent Steffes, Kent Karai and Kart Steffes doing very well. Thank you. Well, they're pretty much interchangeable parts, the way they all execute multiple skills. <laughs> over the top, oh, Stoklos with the backhand. And so that play, Smith was blocking. Well, I think they've recognized that uh, Smith Stoklos is not going to be that successful blocking right now. So far, both shut out, and Randy's up there blocking about 95% of the time. Might as well change things up. Smith going to the sky ball, change the pace. Sinjin blocking. Stoklos playing some defense. Karai he can't just back to serve. stay with a status quo. Off. Score 12, serving 7. So Karai. 
Good serve. Trouble. Nobody. Smith with that oh, good, good set. Spectacular Smith shot and set. Still goes with a good run there. Right down the middle. Kirai just stopping, I should say, just tossing it up and bombing the jump serve. Very difficult ball to pass, and both Smith and Stoklos coming up with a big play to side out. Let's see Smith here. He's in sky ball. Here it comes. Trying to get it back on Stephens. Oh, Stephens from about eight and a half feet. Kent Very Stephens off the set by Karai. Kent Stephens, really the Stephens ultimate compliment you can pay to Stoklos. Kent Stephens on how good he has become. He out. will one day say, I played with Karch Karai, and Karch got every serve. <laughs> Karch will got eventually. every serve. And he he's getting eventually. it. He's just getting it. It's come coming on. earlier than anyone anticipated as the wind really picks Why? up a bit. Come on, Stokey come on, come on. beautifully done. So Stoklos uh, just out of the reach. Smith and Stoklos need to eight, Paul. They need to get to that 8-12 change. 13-7 side change. Uh, chances, 95% uh, it's over. If they get to 12-8, they'll be feeling uh, pretty good. In the Killer Loop Kill Award, Kirai and Stoklos, 21 apiece. Dead heat at the moment. Good shot. Good shot. That's a play that would not even have entered Steffes' mind a couple of years ago or last year. Trouble pass by Karch Kirai off the good jump serve, and Steffes just reads the opportunity and goes on two. I think he tried it a couple of years ago a couple of times, but he always screwed it up. And Hookard said not to do it anymore. Set me. Just set me. 12-7. Over! That's 13-7. So the, the serving, the Ken confidence Steffes, of Karai and Steffes starting to take hold. Karai and Steffes lead of six. <laughs> 13 to seven, time running out on the Kings of the Beach. One last look at that last play. Well, when you jump serve as hard as you possibly can every time, without any fear of losing the match because you're siding out so well, eventually you get point scoring opportunities. Look who's here, it's uh, Joe Comet. <laughs> or <laughs> Sam Lysol. <laughs> He's a cleaning kind of a guy. He's the sponge man. Reminds me of the Stanford tree, one of their models. What's the story with that guy down there? That is a rare outfit. Yeah. Fans started all ages up here. Big volleyball area, Paul. Yes. Lots of people and play growing, on the beach. And yeah. growing. Volleyball, not that popular in the Northeast some years ago, but really coming on. 13-7. to seven. Smith and Stoklos have to do something now. They have to stop it right here. They need a couple quick points on aces. Need to block a ball. Yeah. Need to block a ball. Everything they've gotten, they've had to have multiple swings and really work hard to earn. They need an ace, as you mentioned. I don't think that's likely. Kirai and Stephens have reacted well to their service game where they had a couple of serve, uh, ace clock. serves early, that is Smith and Stoklos. What uh, Randy Stoklos needs to do is block two or three balls in a row. And Steph was questioning something to the referee, Bobby Clark. I don't know what it is. No. I think they're talking okay. about service I'll look, order. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. See if it's a foul. It doesn't Christian. matter. Smith's going to serve trailer. here. Thank you. His team trailing by six. Well, here we go. Thanks. Minute 30 left. Over. And Steffes again. They just can't touch him. Right no. Can't get a point Kim off him. That's why they're serving Kirai. So hope to score a couple off cards. Hope Good that Steffes out. will throw a ball or have yeah. to bump set the ball. And that's 13. the only way you get him under pressure. He's already equaled last year's win output. One couple with Adam Johnson early in the year. Going for number nine today. Karch roots. And this could do it. Talking about a team on a roll. Patient, waiting for opportunities. And then when you get one, you make the big move inside into the angle as Karch Kirai did there. Stuffing Randy Stoklos. Steffes and Kirai serving for the match for the first time. That is way off the net, and Stoklos whacks it out of bounds. So, Karch Karai and Ken Steffes win it. Smith and Stoklos played well up until the finals, and the big story there, they just could not convert. So, Karch and Kent, six in a row. Paul will come back and talk to him after this.